I feel a little bit under pressure here. Lorena is just smiling, her beautiful smile, while uh, Jörg is uh, closing in on me, ready for the kill. I love Ooh. you, Jörg. <laughs> 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 this always works. This always no, works. No, this this no. arms you all the time. This is always uh, working here. So yes, uh, I'm, I have to say uh, I uh, um, I think uh, um, still think Ege is one uh, um, and Turkey is uh, one of the uh, leading underwater rugby nations in the future uh, of the future, and we will see a lot coming up from there. Uh, also, like we still do from uh, Colombia. Um, we should be uh, able to get more information about the scene in uh, underwater rugby in uh, Turkey and Colombia, um, because uh, Colombia, we there are so many teams there uh, apart from uh, the the Yorkas, and uh, to know something about the scene, um, it's. Uh, I think it's important for the global development of underwater rugby uh, to know what's going on there. I uh, talked uh, today again a lot with uh, Ricardo from the Austrian team. Uh, Australia. He's Australia team, sorry. Uh, he's uh, Colombian uh, too. And uh, Australian is really going forward with underwater rugby pushed, mainly as he told me by Bobby, Bobby Simpson as we know him on Facebook. Uh, so yeah, a lot of information there in the world. Let's go into the game. Uh, Finland against Turkey here um, for place uh, number five and six? Correct. All yes. right. Um, I'm not sure. No, I have no prediction too. Yeah, I have no prediction. Um, somehow I believe that maybe Finland could be, but I'm not sure. I mean, no, I mean both teams are, are, are quite in, a, in an equal level of, of rugby, a tough, uh, physical or fast. So really, um, they need to. Both teams can play it. Both uh, they can yes, both and they uh, play a physical wave of play and fast and, yeah. str and strength yeah. as a team. So that's why it really um yeah. really know anything can happen in, the, in this. So game. we're uh, the the game is stuck in the middle of the pool. A lot of forward checking back and forth, but not much uh, movement uh, within the pool. Uh, they they it's all on on one spot. Uh, the forward checking is uh, uh, concentrated. Uh, really around uh, the middle area and uh, now we see Finland um, closing in on the Turkish basket on the left and uh, they they swim forcefully back and forth uh, starting from the close corner and uh, but they were under heavy attack by the Ege for checking so um, they are not able to reach uh, yet they are not able to reach the Turkish basket um, and now we <coughs> have the first scene uh, with a Finnish player um, waiting uh, at the Turkish basket, but we have a, a cluster. Um, Turkey recover the ball, but uh, it's under attack. And again, Finland uh, in ball possession, Turkey in ball possession, all in the middle of the pool at the wall, and they're diving up to the surface. Now Finland again in ball possession, attacked by an Ege player. Ege is in ball possession, and everything uh, I tell you right now is uh, is a square meter uh, with some square meters in the middle of the pool uh, under the surface. Now Turkey is coming uh, to the basket of uh, Finland. Um, but uh, there was a misunderstanding, the, the pass uh, of the player above the basket didn't reach uh, the waiting player uh, behind the basket and uh, the ball is uh, stolen away by Finland and now we're going back to the Ege basket um, and uh, the one pass was intercepted by, by an uh, Ege player so we're back in the middle of the pool. These, teams, these two teams uh, look very uh, um, Equal, strength, yes. yeah. Uh, they have a similar uh, way of playing, and uh, again, for checking in the middle of the pool, uh, not on the bottom of the pool, but more on the surface. Um, but still, the 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 area they play and fight for the ball is uh, quite small, and it's a back and forth. And as soon as one team uh, uh, is in ball possession, the other one, the yeah. other one uh, attack them. Now we have an attack uh, from above the goalkeeper. Uh, on the finished basket, but the goalkeeper um, oh, well that was, a was successful in getting the, the ball. And now we had a, a call from a referee, and uh, there was a tag to the head. So uh, here we go. 
Uh, Ege is uh, waiting for the free throw uh, of Finland. And uh, here we go. Finland is coming on the open side. Um, already players positioned on the open side, coming from the close side, going in. Uh, but uh, Ege managed again to uh, uh, recover the ball, but uh, they don't get far. It's a back, really back and forth. This forechecking is uh, quite fast and uh, um, quite aggressive. Uh, well done. And here we go again. Uh, Finland again uh, recover the ball. With the, the attack of Ege on the finished basket was wow, stopped. That's <laughs> but the forechecking, the, the, the amazing. game They're is moving decided. In the middle yeah, of the field yeah. between the <laughs> these, uh, the, we have at least uh, four players doing the forechecking uh, from both teams. So at least eight players down. Um, and uh, the, the forechecking is uh, impressive because the ball is going back and forth in the middle here of the pool. And uh, uh, both teams. Um, are able to break through from time to time, but uh, they're stopped by the op yeah. By the most of the pool uh, play time is uh, is uh, played in the middle of the pool. So um, interesting and. Uh, uh, I think in, in this... Uh, uh, we haven't got a, a game like that where so much was fought in the middle of the yeah, pool. Yeah. That's uh, really... That, that, that uh, yeah. shows... Uh, Here that we go. Uh, there's the, the egg players that come from the open side, close side, and uh, now the pressure is heavy on uh, the finish basket. And uh, we know egg can score. These players are really happy. They're coming out from the close side over the goalkeeper, passing down to the player, waiting at the basket, going out of the skirmish around uh, the, the basket. Um, and now Ege is forced uh, back into the middle of the pool, still in ball control, but uh, um, they were forced away from the basket uh, of uh, the Finns. And they're waiting now Of finish, the finish. Yeah. Sorry, Finns are the, what we have to play <laughs> on the water rugby. <laughs> Sorry for this uh, lapses. So uh, <laughs> we're forced away from the basket of the finish. And is finish the same as finish a game? Okay, here we have now a fast <laughs> attack uh, on the uh, basket oh, of the finish. And uh, Ege made a wrong pass in the arms of... Uh, um, One of the new uh, players just getting into the pool from the open side, from the yeah. uh, change lane. So, uh, very interesting game, and uh, like the Rena said, uh, the last games here have been more... Um, uh Normally in the games before, we always had the players at least b breaking through, getting yeah. almost one meter close More to goal the attack centered. Yes, but right now they're moving really in the middle, one meter back and forth. So now uh, uh, the uh, the team from Finland is attacking the basket of Ege, and uh, they come from the close side. But the ball is in, uh, in the corner close side on the surface. There is a cluster there. And uh, the Finnish team is now uh, waiting to build up uh, their attack pattern. Uh, they're waiting until one player position himself at the Ege goal. And it's one minute left in this third game of the last day of the Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin. And uh, I recovered the ball and was trying to. Uh, it, go it's out really it, difficult no. for both teams yeah, to, to break through. Ege had better chances, uh, as far as I can uh, say, on the goal of uh, the Finnish team. But uh, uh, don't underestimate uh, uh, the Finnish players. 
because they are very experienced and uh, they are just waiting for the chance. And this could be a chance. Uh, one player coming in over the goalkeeper, but he thought his, uh, uh, his teammate is on the open side, but he was uh, under uh, the goalkeeper uh, on the closed side, so he couldn't finish his uh, attack and play to him. So Ege is in ball possession now and going for the counter-attack. Uh, counter Directly with a lot of force, uh, okay, the same three. height uh, against uh, the goalkeeper from Finland. This is a, a, a fast and exhausting game we see here, and uh, yeah, but you see both teams very focused, very concentrated yes. and on yes. top of the game. They are really doing no mistakes until right now. I'm quite <laughs> sure they uh, finish uh, zero zero in the first half, and uh, probably we will have a zero zero in the end of the second uh, half and have a penalty shootout because these teams both uh, uh, know what they are exactly what they're doing and uh, uh, they don't th they don't seem to make mistakes some passes are wrong uh, but uh, overall the the whole game is very uh, precise and yeah, they know what they're precise, doing yeah, yeah. they they, they yeah. know what they're doing and they're just Seem, seeing winning. them playing uh, like that uh, it, uh, here we have a uh, egger player coming from the close side on the on the same level as the goalkeeper of and the, the finish team doesn't know yet. and uh, um, call from referee this I is a penalty. penalty no yeah, game over sorry ah, yeah, game uh, over yes, yes. Uh, game from over the, of the from first, the first round. half yeah um, very well done uh, by both teams. I even have the feeling I'm uh, not watching uh, a game of uh, for the fifth and sixth place, but uh, yeah, for one of the semi-finals or something. It, it, it's really yeah. both teams are. But you know, I believe that from the from the place one to the fifth, we have. Any attack, uh, if you become too much uh, under pressure, especially in the defense, uh, uh, on the end of the day, this uh, will not pay off uh, totally. Yes, I mean, um, I think that uh, we will be seeing probably penalties. I mean, uh, I think uh, Ege has been attacking a little bit more consequent, a little bit more, not a lot more, but enough that if they do, they can repeat that kind uh, of uh, attack in the second half, maybe. Uh, they can have a chance to score because they almost uh, had a score uh, in the few times they attacked because they were very precise and they put a little bit of pressure. The problem is that they cannot achieve more than one or two waves because then the ball gets lost and then they are back towards um, the t Turkey because the, fin the Finnish uh, uh, defend so well. So if Ege can keep an attack and maybe have four or fifth wave, maybe then I think that would be the possibility for them to score. Again, uh, repeating myself, uh, I feel like 100 times, uh, the domination in the middle part uh, up to the second lane uh, is important in uh, every underwater rugby game. If you don't put constantly players there, uh, you will miss uh, pu uh, the uh, player to where you have a chance to pass to. So if you don't, uh, if you only go in, 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 in on the basket, yeah. Alone, you, do not, yeah. you don't score in the, in the first uh, two times, then you are under pressure and the risk to lose the basket. So it's, it's very so easy. Hard, yeah. to, uh, it's uh, you block the the, uh, the the ball and then uh, you go to the surface and then the whole attack is it's over. So it's important to keep the the ball down and. Uh, and also the amount of players, I mean, right and left, so that you have uh, always the chance to move the ball around. Let's see, we have, I mean, the second half already started, but uh, we cannot see the game yet. No, we only can see us, which is not so bad, <laughs> <laughs> but maybe not but so interesting. Not for the people, exactly. So now here we are, uh, I guess, uh, on track attack, I mean, um, my feeling is throughout the first time, I guess, start being a little bit more um, having the domination of the team uh, of the of the game a little bit more uh, than the, they start and it was equal and then it was progressing and have a little bit more uh, ball possession and attack toward the finished basket and um, let's see if they can uh, continue building up and uh, that would mark the difference now we are uh, on the finished basket and uh, we have uh, the goalie and the defender in position and Ege is trying to come over the close side 
but the forechecking of the Finnish uh, are trying to keep them away. We have already the Ege play on top of the goalie, uh, but they had to withdraw. And uh, now they are regrouping and coming in, but uh, the Finnish uh, defender got the ball and is trying to swim away uh, and pass the ball still where, I mean, however, within the three meters line uh, close uh, to the basket. And uh, Eger is trying to recover the ball. And we have now uh, a fight again in the middle field. Uh, the Finnish player got uh, recovered the ball from Eger and is trying to swim, but the Eger player recovered it. I mean, it's amazing. It's just, you know, going like a ping pong. The ball is changing the uh, b within the two teams. And now Eger is on a counter-attack, but it was uh, slowed down by one of the of the Finnish uh, players. And now we have um, the ball in the surface just above the basket of the Finnish uh, basket. And let's see uh, who has it. Eger. Eger is trying to uh, keep the ball farther, and now the uh, attacker is coming onto the goalie. We have been uh, stopped by the defender. They're fighting on the ball. We have two other players from Eger that recover the ball and withdrawing and going around the three meters, half a circle around, giving the uh, playmates some, some uh, time to uh, recover, to get some air, and start attacking. Again. And this is what I was meaning before. If they can keep this kind of pressure and coming into waves, uh, the Finnish team is a great defender, uh, but uh, this is the only chance they have to force a mistake uh, on the defense. Yes. Yeah, but, uh, they don't use uh, the uh, possibility uh, when they are in the attack that always you can see two players on the surface, one is good to exchange. That's two less on the water, yes. two less on the bottom. No, no I'm agree. so I agree with you. So basically, you have, uh, if you have an attack, uh, in attack mode, you have uh, two goalkeepers, two defenders, uh, which will be exchanged. So, and the offense team has always five people to uh, can attack when they don't include aggressively the goalkeeper. So. That makes us, uh, 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 now we have a class on the surface which uh, doesn't have at, at all. Uh, so let's see yeah. what. So, oops. Six minutes left here in this uh, second, second half. half uh, Finland against uh, uh, Turkey, and it's still 0 0. And both teams are really on the, uh, how do you say, uh, eye level. It's uh, Augenhöhe in the German. I don't think you can translate it. Uh, one same, to one. same attitude. Yeah, oh. the same style of playing. And uh, they are fast. Uh, they can. Uh, they are forceful. They can play physical on the water rugby uh, with one-on-one uh, -on -one fights. Um, I mean, it's a great match. Uh, it's really yeah, great it's to see, you know, the, the yeah. patterns of attack and defend and how they defend and the forechecking, how yes, they recover the ball, how they build up the counter attack. Yeah. Two, three. I mean, it's really uh, great. Yeah, and where we have an attack from the close side, uh, the Eki player is going uh, on, the, was trying to go on the head from the open side of the uh, Finn uh, goalie, but uh, he was pulled away and. Uh, now Eggy is again on the heavy attack by the forechecking of uh, the Finnish team. And uh, the Finnish team uh, will successfully uh, recover the ball, but uh, instantly they're under attack by Eggy on the surface. And uh <coughs> it's difficult for both teams to, to move forward uh, in this uh, close quarter fight. It's like uh, hungry dogs going for, uh, for the meat. It's, it's really fast. And uh, <laughs> they they snap at each, at each other. I thought you were too. vegetarian. <laughs> I am vegetarian, but I have so how you can you describe those things? Well, I'm I'm uh, realistic. Stay focused. I'm realistic in this world. Stay focused. <laughs> I focus on you now. Good morning, Levent. Good morning, Levent. I hope you're uh, enjoying Levent. the game. Great, great tactic from Ega and also from the Finnish team. Uh, so. Uh, we have now in the surf. But, but what happened there? They're taking a break. So they, they don't. Yeah, that was a descent, post. something like that. Uh, the, the and what I'm surprised that the Finnish team let let them do that. So Keep the ball, stay on the surface. If Ege keeps on uh, pushing on the, on the basket at this uh, moment, they know the time is ticking, and uh, they put more and more pressure on the basket of the Finnish team so I think we should see uh, uh, a goal then but uh, the the Finnish team is quite experienced and 
uh, it even looks easy for them to fend off the, these heavy physical attacks and uh, Ege comes in with one player on the open side uh, the ball is pushed to the close side but every time a player is close to the basket he's uh, pushed away or yeah. tackled away by a Finnish player they're quite effective in doing that and uh, you can imagine Ege is doing a very good job and putting pressure on the basket but they uh, don't succeed and you see them uh, struggle now we have a chance um, there was no defender but it took the Ege player too long to uh, get the ball from his uh, teammate right in front of the Finnish basket um, they're doing a great job the Finnish defending very very effective and uh, they, they, I mean, Ege is there trying to work to build up their waves, but um, they cannot generate really pressure. I mean, they um, they are stopped uh, on time, and it's amazing how the Finnish recover the ball and swim a counter attack. Like if they were, I mean, like if they weren't defending for five minutes. Yes, this is the uh, underwater time is great. The tactic is great. Yeah. The technique. I mean, both teams are showing uh, a great display of rugby. It's very it's fl uh, the flow fluid, is so yeah, nice, yeah, it's so it's fluent. It's one, I, mean, it's I think amazing. it's one of my favorite game right yes. now. This oh, this is an attack from Ege, the the the, the defending team of, of uh, the Finnish team was uh, almost too late at the basket but the uh, egg player was stopped by a four checking player before he could reach the basket now we have an egg player under the finnish goalkeeper and uh, this is this is uh, a moment where a tor or where a goal could happen but again uh, very good work from the uh, finnish uh, defense they succeed every time to fend off these attacks. And now Ege is uh, under uh, pressure. And they got the ball. It's so much fun to watch. Yes, it's really yes. And really, it's one of my favorite games. Uh, oh, no. no. Wow. wow. This was just uh, was a, a Finnish player stole uh, the basket. And there was a cluster on the surface. The ball was dropping down. And the Finnish player was just pulling it in. There was no... There was no defense, there was no goalkeeper. Completely empty basket, because they a thought big, big mistake yeah. left on the Turkish it, side. It, Amazing, it because they haven't uh, done any any mistake uh, at all uh, within the, 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 I mean, throughout the whole game. And that was such a big mistake. I mean, I would like to know, I mean, what happened that no player even saw uh, that the basket was empty and, you know, just lie on top of it. I'm, it's so I'm so surprised and there's a timeout now for uh, Ege, Ege yeah, sure. but uh, they only have, uh, I think, one and a half minute left uh, in the second half and uh, it's, it's really big surprise. Uh, we haven't seen any mistakes in this game from both teams. Uh, it will be uh, next to the game uh, Orcas Molde and Bamberg uh, games, one of my favorite games to watch and learn yes. uh, on water rugby Great. and to show probably to really? my team and to the youngsters of my kids team because uh, Great, great underwater play. rugby, great the forward checking, uh, the way it should be. Swimming, strength, swimming, yes. uh, agility. I mean, Ball in the, in the move uh, all the time. Not much uh, safe play, but an uh, open uh, style to play. Um, okay, one minute left, and now Ege has to go forward with everything they have, and the Finns will... Finish. Finish, uh, <laughs> will... Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> Nobody hears you, York. You have to use a microphone. <laughs> oh, we have a private talk now. Can you wait until this game is over? Then we can go uh, outside. So, 45 seconds. So, so the game is over. Um, the game is no, never over. There is always <laughs> another game. <laughs> but uh, now, now let's see if Ege uh, goes in. And uh, So why did the player on the surface wait of Ege? Yeah, th th that's, that's uh, ask myself. There is one player, the goalkeeper, one, two, 20 seconds. Three, left. three on the surface. Everybody. They, 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 now the finish are just waiting the time. This is. The ball was outside. Free <laughs> throw against Ege. Last chance for Five Ege seconds. here in this game. Finland. Five. Three, two, two. one. So, 1-0 for Ryuso. Congratulations. I mean, Ryuso is on the fifth place of this championship. And Ege did the sixth place. And Levin uh, mentioned that last year Ege University made the seventh place. So, that means already being in the sixth place. Um, there's an improvement uh, on this year in the position. Um, well, uh, um, I'm, I'm the... the, the 
Turkey yeah. and Egypt <laughs> does not have to prove uh, its value here by the no, rating no, in the Champions. No, I'm just, I'm just telling by the rating in this uh, Champions Cup. I know it's uh, uh, it's a good sign if a if a uh, team is high up in in, this, in the scoring list, but uh, uh, the the rugby we see from Ege is the important thing. And uh, compared to uh, uh, Finland, Ege is a young uh, underwater rugby country, and uh, to compete uh, uh, against an experienced team like the Finnish team, the way they did, uh, what we saw right here, is just uh, uh, amazing. And it uh, shows us, like I said yesterday, the, the direction of development uh, of underwater rugby and Turkey. And uh, these new, new underwater rugby nations, and I call them you, but uh, uh, they still play for several years. But compared uh, to the Nordic uh, underwater rugby community, uh, uh, Turkey is quite new. But uh, um, this is what underwater rugby needs, new developments in new countries with probably a little bit uh, less of history and a fresh start uh, to, to give new impulses to the to the whole community and uh, like I said already yesterday I see this coming from uh, uh, Turkey a lot uh, uh, Australia Singapore and uh, Colombia uh, hey here is Winnie again good to see you Winnie good morning coming up uh, Langen versus Akaren hmm?